welcome back. So today's video is going to be a remake of a video I made about five or six years ago on my YouTube channel, and that was how to look like you put yourself together and spent a lot of time getting ready when really you didn't. You woke up late, you didn't have a lot of time, or honestly, you just don't give a crap, and you don't wanna spend two hours getting ready for something. This video was five or six years ago, and it mentions a red lip, big earrings, high heels, even if you do everything else low maintenance and easy, if you wear a red lip, you look like you put yourself together and you cared, right? Well, here comes the year 2020. Red lip, irrelevant. Nice contouring, irrelevant. High heels, meh, if you feel like it, cool. So really, you know, the bronzer and the blush and everything, it's not as important. In 2020, when you were required to wear a mask, um, I think it's more about playing up the eyes, doing a deeper, darker, smoky eye, something that's going to be fluffier lashes, and if you don't have time to do foundation and stuff on the bottom half of your face, who cares, you know, as long as this part of your face looks good. So I um, definitely would bronze up my forehead, I would, you know, concentrate on my brows and my eyes, spend like an extra five minutes here, save five minutes here. Good to go. So let's go ahead and jump in. I have my foundation, concealer, all that stuff, powder. And then I did fill in my brows with just a um, LA Girl Shady Slim brow pencil. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I would do if I wanted to look like I gave a crap, but I had to go up. This one's a handmade cloth mask um, with little cactuses on it. And it's reversible. The other side has like a blue, I don't know, florally pattern, like a, I don't know, geometric pattern or something. So anyway, um, the first thing I would do is, because I'm going to be focusing on the eyes, is really play it up. So I might do a smoky eye, I might do like thick liner, I might do false lashes. It really depends on where I'm going and what I'm doing. But, you know, this is where you get to play. I hardly leave my house, so if I am going to leave, I'm going to be doing something really, you know, kind of fun. So um, this is the Tarte Rainforest After Dark palette. This is just a representation of, you know, what kind of eyeshadows I would do on a normal day. I'd be doing like a tan and a white, you know, maybe one color in the outer V. And instead, on a day when I am going to be wearing a mask, I would take a darker shade all over the lid. So this one is kind of like a purpley color. And I'm only using my finger because it's just easier. And then I'm just taking whatever's left on the finger and going like a little bit up into the crease. And it kind of, because there's not much left on my finger, it's like fading naturally, gradually. So that's that. This is like a dark purple and it's got some shimmer, you know, we're going glamorous. And then I'm going to do a thick liner. So whether you use pencil or you want to use like a crayon, you know, a big jumbo crayon thing or a smudgy or whatever and you can totally play that up um this one is the tardis black double take eyeliner and it actually has a liquid on one end and a pencil on the other so i could go either way um, but i am going to go ahead and do liquid and then on top of it i'm just doing um a thicker line on the outer half of the eye and I'm going to go ahead and do a tiny wing here. All right, so I did my liner and it's thick, it's bold, it's kind of out there for me on a normal day when I was wearing a bold lip. But since the lip's irrelevant today, um, I did go ahead and do a thick line. Now I'm taking just a blending brush and I'm kind of softening the edges of the purple in the crease and above the crease. Like I want bold, but I also want it to like blend out and kind of go poof and you know not be there really at the top of my eyebrow i don't want like purple eyeshadow okay so i'm going to grab a this one is bare minerals Gold, gorgeous glide liner brush it is basically just a teeny tiny pencil brush but like with a little bit of an angle and i'm going to use a dark shadow so this one is a dark brown any dark brown any black whatever color you want to use and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get real close to the camera so you can see this. I'm gonna go right on top of that black liner and I'm going to blend it out so that I'm looking at my mirror here in case you're wondering. It gets like a little bit more softened 
but I actually cover the liner completely and then I take that same color and I go slightly above the liner. So it like blends from black, black, black at the lash line to more subdued higher up on the lid you go. Now see the difference? This is like black, black, black. And this one is like a little bit softer, but it's still dark, it's still smoky. It's kind of fun, right? And then you could totally go on top of this with a different color. You could do blue, you could do, you know, whatever color you like. Forest green would be really pretty. Um, but I think that this really smokes up the eye. And uh, I take what's like left on the brush sometimes and I go up in the outer V and I like really accentuate that. And I'm gonna go back to each eye here and there, but I like to just really play up my eyes. And I'll clean up down here with my concealer brush. But go in with the same color I used for the eyeshadow, that dark purple. And I'm gonna do that here too, and really play up that smokiness. And I'm concentrating that purple on top of the liner, but more on the lid, like right on the edge. All right, so I've got a lot of blending to do, as you can see. Looks a little patchy, a little kind of wild, but I'll take what's left on that brush now this is like a mix of the dark brown and the dark purple. And just kind of lightly do the outer part of the lower lash line. I'm connecting that outer V with the lower lash line. Notice I didn't do the inner half. Stopped around there. You can see the difference? Take it from here, connect the lower lash line, just the outer half. All right, so I'm gonna use my fluffy blending brush. And this is just like a skin colored shadow, it might be tan, could be like a light brown. And I'm just kind of buffing around the edges. And then I might go back into the original shade that I had used for the lid, touching that up whatever I think it needs to really, you know, look gorgeous. I'm just going to do a generous amount of my Essence um, Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. I'm do the mascara on the other eye and do some concealer on the lower lash line just to clean up that fallout and I'll be right back. Right, so, can you see the difference that some fluffy lashes make? I'm just gonna do one more quick pass here. So I went ahead while I was paused and recording and I grabbed a necklace and some earrings which of course make you look more put together even when they take such little effort. You know what takes more effort from me? Tell me if I'm the only one here. Putting them away. I hate putting my jewelry away. <laughs> Is it just me? Okay. All right, now I'm just taking a small brush again. This one happens to be angled. It could be a pencil brush, whatever you like. And the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. And I'm doing like an off-white and then a matte off-white and then a shimmery white. And I'm just using those under the brow bone and the inner corner of the eye, or on the brow bone. Like right at the highest point of my brow. Like I raise my brow and I can see where that arch is really easily. I'm just accentuating that with a little bit of white and then a shimmery shade right on the inner corner. And that's going to really open up the eyes, make me look more awake. For the sake of going bold, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same Tarte liner, I'm just using the pencil portion. I am gonna go ahead and do the inner um, waterline. Because I feel like that is just going to really um, drive the point home. I'm just doing a really gentle tug. So what I do is I look up. And there. I will water for just a second, but after like 
five seconds. It doesn't bother me anymore. So, for cheeks, you can totally play this up as little or as much as you want. You can go completely bare on the cheeks, or you can do your normal contour bronzing routine. Put on a mask. You can't see them. Now, if you were going to pull your mask down at any point, like if you were just standing close to your partner who you live with, um, your kids or something, and you didn't need the mask up, then your cheeks do show. So I would say, for me personally, I would wear highlighter. Maybe a peachy pinky highlighter so that it kind of looks like blush too. But it really depends if you're wearing a reusable mask, if you're planning on washing your mask, if you're going to be taking it up and down a lot because that makeup, whatever you put here, is going to rub off on the mask. And mine is reversible, so do I want it to be dirty because it's pink and shimmery or bronzed and brown? Or would I just rather it all be nude colored so that if it wipes on another part of my face, I'm not upset about it? This is the e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush and the Revolution uh, Makeup Revolution London Vivid Baked Highlighter in the shade Peach Light. So this is exactly kind of a peachy shade. I'm just taking that right at the top of the cheekbone and I am going to go ahead and do it at the outer tail of the brow all the way around like a C. Same thing on the other side. Only like the outer half of the cheek up and a C. And if you have a lot of like crow's feet and stuff I would avoid that but if you don't it's fine. And then I'm taking a tiny bit of that same no additional product on the brush just going right down the center of the nose and the um, middle of the forehead. If you have oily skin, you'll want to avoid that, but I don't. So, um, so there you have it. Whoop. Big earrings, necklace, and then you'll want to probably tie your hair back. You don't have to do all the way back, um, but you know, for me, the mask being up and down, it's like my hair is constantly in my face if my hair is down. So I like to have. All I did was probably about this much hair on each side. I'm just giving you a demo from each side right at the front of my face. And I put them back like that, you know, together. That's all I did to get my hair out of my face. I kept it parted down the center. You know, that's easy. But that is what I would do if I wanted to look like I put myself together for you. But I really didn't want to spend a lot of time because I knew I'd be wearing a mask. I would play up the eyes. So I would do smoky, darker shade on the lid rather than my normal like nudish beige shimmer color that I would normally wear. I would go big with the lashes. I would go big with the liner. I would definitely highlight under the brow and I would definitely highlight the inner corner. And I would probably highlight the cheeks and do maybe a little bit of a lighter concealer under my eyes. Um, but as far as blush, bronzer, and lipstick go, it's all up to you. I wouldn't bother. Those are my tips and tricks for how to look put together when you're going to be wearing a mask. I hope you guys found this video helpful, entertaining, learned something. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you guys later.